Hey guys, so yeah, there's been like a lot of, um, I mean, not only to me, but also to a lot of people I see, like, either on Facebook or YouTube or something. Well, you know, people are just being complete assholes, and, um, they're trying to, you know, make people feel bad about themselves for stupid reasons. Like, if someone posts a video on YouTube of them having fun with friends, like, people are bashing on them, like, commenting, like, oh, you stupid whores, like, why would you do something so stupid, like they're having fun like obviously they are it's it's stupid and people will come at me attacking me because they think I'm so much different and you know to people that get you know all these hate things um and to people and people that get bullied people only do that because they're jealous of you and I realized that after you know a while that people that hate on you usually have really low self-esteem. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry, my TV is really loud. So people like that either have really low self-esteem, they had a bad childhood, or they just think that you're better than them, so they want to do everything that they can to make you feel worthless. But you wanna know what? Don't let them get to that point where they can say that they made you feel like shit because honestly haters should motivate you they should motivate you to be the person you are they should motivate you to be a better person so that you know that you're not as pathetic as them and you know people hate on other people because of their appearance or something they don't take like into their personality it's just the society nowadays is so look-based, it's ridiculous, and it's really fucked up, to be honest. Like, it's just, it's horrible. You see these kids in school that, you know, they aren't the best looking, but if you get to know them, they're really fucking nice. And you get these kids that people make fun of and bully all the time. And I find it completely messed up. I was in school and this girl made fun of this mentally challenged girl that goes to our school. Who does that? Who sinks to that level? Obviously, they have a mental issue. They can't fix what they're doing. And I just find that to be so low for someone to go and bully a mentally challenged person. Obviously, they have issues of, you know, themselves that they need to take care of, because who does that? It's... I've just realized how immature a lot of people are nowadays, and, you know, it sucks, because I can't get along with most people in my school because they're immature, and they bully people and make fun of people. People try to make fun of me because of the way I dress, but they sort of stopped because they know that I don't give a fuck anymore. Um, that used to be a big thing. When I was in seventh and eighth grade, um, I I used to always care what people thought. Like, I'd always, I would wear, you know, my bright ass clothing, but I'd always be scared of what people thought of me. And when someone said something to me, I would take it to heart. And I would like, I would seriously think about it for days. And I would want to change so badly. But then, you know, 8th grade came and I was like, I still sort of cared, but not really. And then I hit high school, and then that's when I just completely stopped caring. Like, once you hit high school, you see how many different people there are. And no matter what, you're always going to find at least one friend that's like you. And to get through high school, all you need is one friend. All you need is that one person. You don't need all of these fake people acting like your friends. And you don't need um, to listen to all these people that are hating on you, either because you're different, because they're jealous, or any reason. So, I mean, next time, you just, I don't know, I just, I'm really bad at like, putting what's the other if you can't tell but some people take bullying like so much to heart that they take their own lives and 
the person that actually bullied them has to live with that their entire life knowing that they were the reason why somebody killed themselves why somebody's dead and that person could have been the nicest person it could have been the meanest person it could have been the smartest person it could have been the dumbest person it doesn't matter who you are the reason why a human being took their own life I mean not a lot of people think about that when they're like saying all these harsh comments towards people but that's something to consider you know some people that you think oh they're not gonna take it that bad and you say something to them they might take it to heart and take it to that extent that they will take their own life you don't know who is and who isn't capable of that I mean I've had multiple people um, either message me on YouTube or on Facebook or any social websiteing or one of my friends coming up saying that they wanted to kill themselves because of you know this one person or somebody that has been harassing them, bullying them, bullying them or anything. And you know I've been at that situation and I know what it's like but you just have to get up, keep your head up and move on and know that you're better than them. It's not worth taking your own life to because one person is jealous of you or because multiple people are jealous of you. I mean, and people that bully other people don't realize that that can happen, that someone can and it, it might happen that, you know, they might be dead. So, I mean, it's something to think about. I have had um, four friends that have taken their own lives for stuff like that. Um, so bullying is definitely a subject that's close to me because it's happened to me, it's happened to people I've loved and they have passed. And it's just, it's fucked up how a lot of people don't take into consideration, you know, what could happen or they just think, oh, it's okay, I can do this to someone because I know they're not gonna say anything. Just because they're not saying anything doesn't mean that, you know, they aren't hurting, or it doesn't mean that they won't go to the extent of hurting themselves, whether it's cutting themselves or killing themselves or do, doing anything to hurt themselves. I mean, I think it's horrible if someone is scared to go to school. And there's so many people that are, that are petrified to go to school because people are bullying them. School is supposed to be a friendly environment. It's where you get your education. You, you, you get friends. And for people to take that privilege away from someone, uh, I mean, would they be proud of themselves that they made someone scared to go to school because they were threatened to get the shit, the shit beat out of them? Or they were threatened on their life? Or anything like that? Or maybe you're just harassing them, calling them names, and they just don't want to go to school because they're so embarrassed. It's just... It's a topic to consider, so, I don't know. It's, it's a strong topic, but, yeah. I love you guys. Bye.